Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel reading today, Jesus gives us a different gift. The gift of fire that may lead to division but a division that leads to purification. May this gift continue to purify ourselves, our communities, and our country. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what, what I, have I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O 
O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princess said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in this city and all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, He is in your power, for the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchiah, which was in the quarters of the guard letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud, and Jeremiah sunk into the mud. Eved Malak, a court official, went there from the palace and said to them, My Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern, he will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Eved Malak the Cushat to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and He stooped toward me. The Lord heard my cry. He drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon a crag. He made firm my steps. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and in trust in the Lord. Lord 
Though I am afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh my God, hold not my back. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Whenever we gather around the table of the Eucharist, especially on a Sunday, I am sure many of us here are asking from our Lord different graces. Tuwing tayo po ay magtitipon tuwing araw ng linggo, alam ko po na marami sa atin ay mayroong hinihinging biyaya galing sa Diyos. But Jesus, in our gospel reading for this Sunday, gives us a different kind of grace, a different kind of blessing. Jesus today tells his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire. Jesus brought with him the blessing of fire. And this fire, Jesus said, leads not to peace, but to division. Kakaibang biyaya yan, no? Ang biyaya ng division. But this division, Jesus said, is a fire. A fire that blazes. A fire that purifies. That is why this fire of division is a blessing because it purifies us. Ang apoy na ito na nagdadala ng pagkakahati-hati ay biyaya pa rin sapagkat ito ay nagdudulot ng paglilinis ng sarili, paglilinis ng ating mga ugnayan, paglilinis ng ating pamayanan. So, if you may be undergoing conflicts, divisions, misunderstanding, quarrels within you, within your family, within your relationships, that can be a blessing. Baka tanungin niyo ako, Father, Sigurado ka ba sa sinasabi mo na itong kaaway ko ay blessing sa akin ni Lord? Huwag kang mag-alala. Ikaw rin kasi, ang tingin niya sa'yo, kaaway ka rin. No? Kaya, blessing ka din sa kanya. No? Baka akala mo, ikaw siya lang ang kaaway mo. No? Hindi, ikaw rin, kaaway rin, ang tingin niya sa'yo. Kaya, both of you are blessings to one another. But my dear brothers and sisters, how can we turn conflicts, how can we turn quarrels, how can we turn divisions into blessings? My dear brothers and sisters, if that division purifies you, purifies your motivation and intention, then it can be turned into a blessing. Kinakailangan matuto tayo mula sa mga pag-aaway at pagkakakati-hati. At kapag natuto tayo dyan, yan ay gagawin mong biyaya. In our first reading today, 
from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, we see that King Zedekiah at first had the prophet Jeremiah thrown into the cistern. But later on, a court official, Ebed Melech, tried to convince the king that they made the wrong decision. And the king, Zedekiah, learned from his mistake and tried to correct the mistake that they had done. They asked Ebed Melech to rescue Jeremiah from the cistern. Kaya nakita natin mga kapatid sa unang pagbasa, kapag mayroong pag-aaway, kapag mayroong conflict, pwede palang maging biyaya yan. Basta't matututo tayo na itama ano ang mali sa atin. Kapag mayroong pag-aaway at hindi pagkakaunawaan, yan ay paraan para makilala lalo natin ng ating mga sarili. Ito pala ang mali ko. Ito pala ang mali kong pananaw. Kaya pala kami nag-aaway. Ito pala ang mali ko. Ito rin pala ang mali niya. At lalo kayong magkakaunawaan. That is the blessing of the fire of division that Jesus is bringing us. The fire that purifies us. And this also leads us, according to our second reading, to purify ourselves. As our second reading tells us, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us. That is the purpose of fire. It purifies our sins it purifies our burdens and makes us realize that we need to let go of all these things so that we can be purified by the fire Jesus is bringing us. Kaya mga kapatid, kung tayo man ay dumadaan sa ganitong mga karanasan, pag-aaway, pagkakahati-hati, hindi pagkakaunawaan, tampuhan, huwag niyo agad titingnan yan na hindi blessing. Sabi ni Jesus, dadalhin ko yan sa inyo, nang sa gayon ay mas luminis ang inyong kalooban. Makikilala niyo ang mga pagkakamali ninyo at magkakaroon ng mas maayos na ugnayan. One time, my mother and I went with a group on pilgrimage. At dahil Walang ibang kasamang kapatid ko, kundi ako lang. Ako po ang naging caregiver ng nanay ko. No? Ako ang nag-alaga sa kanya. No? Sabi ko sa mga kapatid ko, iniwan nyo ako mag-isa. No? Pinag-alaga nyo ako sa nanay natin. No? One time, we went to, to a certain place on that pilgrimage. And I was so excited to, you know, go around that place. And my mother told me, sabi niya, anak, dito na lang tayo sa kwarto. No? Magpapahinga muna ako. Sabi ko sa kanya, ano ka ba? 
minsan lang tayo nandito at ngayon lang tayo makakaikot sa lugar na ito. Sabi niya, hindi pagod na ako eh. Sabi ko, sige, kung ayaw mo ako na lang, iniwan ko siya mag-isa sa kwarto. At pagbalik ko, nako, alam niyo naman, ang nanay kapag nagtampo, umiiyak na, no? Pagbalik ko ng kwarto. At sabi niya sa akin, alam mo, nag-pilgrimage naman tayo para sa akin, hindi naman para sa lugar eh. Gusto kitang makasama. Akala ko siya ang kaaway. Ako pala <laughs> ang kaaway. No? Ganyan yata ang nanay, magaling sa ganyan. No? But it was, it was really a fire that purified me. All along, I thought she was my enemy. I did not realize that I can also be an enemy. I have not understood her. I have not given my time for her. You see, conflicts can be a blessing. It can make you learn about yourself. It can make you learn that you may have enemies, but you can also be the enemy. And we can resolve these conflicts through the fire that can purify us to lead us to cleanse ourselves of any sin and burden that clings to us. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayong araw, minsan ang pag-aaway, ang hindi pagkakasunduan ay pwedeng maging biyaya. Basta tayo'y matututo, basta tayo'y magbabago mula sa mga bagay na ito. Kung tayo man ay dumadaan sa ganitong mga pagkakataon ngayon, itaas natin sa Diyos at hilingin natin sa Kanyang matuto tayo mula sa mga bagay na ito upang ang mga pagkakakati-hati ay maging daan ng biyaya ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. If we are faithful to Christ, we will not always be popular. May this mystery of the tension and struggle of the kingdom help to form our intentions today. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For courageous leadership in the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For statesmen and politicians who value courage and integrity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who resort to terrorism and other forms of violence, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families divided by religious differences, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the perfection and peace of our dead, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. We turn to you in our need, gentle Father. Grant the prayers offered in words and the prayers hidden in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration, those also who are joining us through the online broadcast of this Mass, and also through TV Maria. We also thank all those, especially who are pilgrims who have come here to celebrate Mass with us here at the Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa amin dito sa Manila Cathedral at kami po ay laging masayang nakikita kayo at nakakaisa namin kayo sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity and danger far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.